I thought I'd just jump on and show you something you could do with toilet paper tubes. I just smushed them down and taped them together to do a double ovalish shape. <laughs> and I am just using some cheapo acrylic paint that I actually got for free. Someone gave it to me. So I'm just kind of playing with colors today. These are mostly, well, the ones I'm using are analogous colors, which are next to each other on the color wheel. So they blend nicely together. Uh, well, reddish, pink, purple, and blue. Those are next to each other on the color wheel. So um, that way my paint doesn't turn brown when I am mixing them together. So I am using packing paper for my printing sheets. Ooh, I don't know if that's gonna work. There we go. So I just, um, I'm gonna hook this up to my stand here. And there's lots of ideas of what you could do with this kind of stamp. Um, just so you know, I'm using just an old tin lid and I'm going to wash this off when I'm done. This is what I use for my inks as well. Uh, it's just a nice reusable surface and I'm just going to make a pattern on mine. I did just get this, um, oh, it's not a magazine but magazine <laughs> in the mail today and it was in my recycle bin but then I pulled it back out because I needed something to work on uh, to keep my table clean so I thought I'd use this as a protector so I could do some printing I'm actually gonna go ahead and add it's pretty purple right now so I'm gonna go ahead and just squeeze actually I'll squeeze some pink onto here. I was actually thinking about um, connecting or taping or rubber banding a bunch of toilet paper tubes together, but and then doing similar thing. But um, I just have two right now and I really wanted to print. So I have used toilet paper tubes for other things, for other kinds of printing in one of my other videos. If you're interested, I'll link that below. But this is kind of an impromptu video. Um, but this creates super fun pattern I'm going to add to here. Such a fun pattern. And I like the variety of colors in there too. I um, was printing in my printing journal for a little while until that got filled up. And now I'm just using um, loose packing paper. <laughs> To print. I think I'm going to wait until all of these are dry and then print again on the back and then maybe bind these together. But I'll go ahead and show you, ooh, dirty floor, I'm going to go ahead and show you these. Similar idea here, different colors. Um, I did this one, super fun. And then I just made a quick reels on my Instagram page with this printing. But these are really fun. I'm cleaning out my art room supply closet and I'll show you what I used for those. I brought some things home that I was going to throw away to print with first before I throw them away. Or maybe I'll wash them and use them again. But I thought this would be really fun for printing. So I used this for those circles. I think I'll wash it off and try this side too. So Stay tuned for that. And then here's, let's see, here's rhubarb. Hey, Rue. 
And I cleaned off my paper wrap recently. I used to have all of my prints up here. I have one left, but I have started adding these prints, my most recent ones. I posted this on my Instagram the other day as well. I used a deodorant cap for these. The um, secret tip here, well, I don't know if it's a secret tip, but I love the half drop repeat pattern where instead of just doing it in like a grid, you just shift it, your shape for the next row, you shift it by like half step and it creates a really nice half step pattern. I do a lot of those when I'm printing. So I think when I'm done, well, these are dry, so perhaps I could, I think I'm gonna turn them over and print on the other side, uh, which I think would be really fun. Oh, look. This is one of my prints from the 100 Day Project. So I did bring a few more things home to print with this weekend. Um, I have these, I thought these were interesting shapes. These are old um, pencil sharpeners that lost the pencil sharpening part. So I'm gonna print with these. And I brought home this. We've had a bunch of these. I don't even know what these are. We were using these as containers for various things. But I thought I could add some paint or ink on this side, which, you know, circles are the best. So I'm going to go ahead and try that as well. So I just wanted to pop on and show you some of the prints that I was working on with my toilet paper tubes. Super fun. Uh, and I'd love to hear what you're printing with or what you're working on lately. Be super fun to hear. And I will catch you in the next video. If you liked this video, this impromptu uh, printing video, let me know in the comments be below. I'd love to hear. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. And go ahead and give this a thumbs up if you liked it. All right.